Well, hello, it's uh, Kev from Kiko here. Um, been a while since we've uh, done one of these, so uh, bear with me if I'm a bit rusty. Um, we're going to launch today the new B&D Lite. Um, probably quite a few of you have seen this. Um, it, uh, I've actually got it in my hand and looked around it, and it's a really stout piece of equipment. Um, just some key points about this: the head and the base are machined out of a solid piece of Delrin. So there's no injection molding, there's no well, molding of any sort at all. So this is a, you know, a, a good chunk of, of solid Delrin that's actually been machined down to this shape. So by rights, the, um, the strength of this, it should be sort of second to none. Um, it definitely feels a really solid piece of equipment in my hand. Um, runs the larger suction cup now this to give you an idea this table i'm on now is quite a textured um, we wouldn't normally get much of a a bite on a suction cup on this style of uh, style of top but this one actually i've had it on here for a second here and it, it holds up really really well so uh, that's quite a nice thing so there's a little bit more weight to this than most people would uh, would experience but the weight definitely uh, constitutes quality, uh, which is nice. But with the suction cup on there, there's no problems. You know, if you're moving this around, it's not going to pop on. Let's like say this is textured and it's it's strong on there. Um, really, really nice piece of equipment. Uh, the base is a standard Ryobi, um, so native to Ryobi batteries. Great thing about it, any of you got the trifecta guns, these adapters. So these are Ryobi adapters. So we have, uh, I think they do a Bosch one as well, but we have here DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita. So what we can actually do is just pop the adapter in and then whatever brand of battery it is you wanna, you wanna run, um, you, can, you can run that. So nice and, uh, nice and good. There's some circuitry in the base here that will only allow 12 volts to the light head. So if you put an 18 volt battery, a 24 volt battery, 20, whatever it might be, it's only actually gonna allow 12 volts up, up to the light head itself. So this should help the LEDs run a little bit cooler. So hopefully you won't have the, the problems with, you know, the, uh, the, the, the LEDs rising off the back plate um, and, and basically breaking solders. So some, uh, some good thought gone into that. It runs, uh, uh, the, I think this is actually the James Lee's lock line. I believe it is, yeah, the spinal cord uh, with the cover on it. So yeah, good, a good strong. Just make sure you keep this adjusted. They are a little bit uh, temperamental to weather conditions. So once or twice a year, just get your Allen key in there. I think it's a 2.5 mil and just run down and adjust these. So it should be moving nice and simply like this. We see a lot of lights where the lock line is so stiff. Um, it puts a load of weight on both the joints um, and it can end up wearing the suction cups out as well so just matter of course just every now and again just go and adjust that um, that lock line should you require so let's get up to the uh, the important thing so on the side here this this light is actually natively a warm core warm um, little touch sensitive button very nice little button on these but they also if you press and hold you're able to dim each strip independently. So it's a good good brightness on this. Uh, it's got a very good lens on it as well. Uh, it's it's a, a matte finish, um, very transparent, very much similar to the, uh, the outdoor lenses the, um, from Elimidem. So a really nice uh, fade on these. We'll get downstairs in a second and show you on the car. So yeah, we have warm core warm, sorry. Um, then also, Notice these buttons on the side here. Now these actually operate an LED strip in between the cool and the warm light. So what we can do, we can turn it onto blue. We say we can go as high or as low as we want with that. We have the green and also we have the red. So any of you know much about, uh, about TVs, etc., RGB, which does mean you can change to whatever color you want. So you've got an infinite uh, amount of colors on here. That you can play around with so all you fog guys um, that want to get a bit crazy with uh, with lights um, that's brilliant so there's no need to change lenses on this so I just mentioned fog guys line guys um, this is its little party piece on the back here it has these 
aluminium knobs. So if we turn, we turn these down, and it's, what it's actually doing is actually drawing the lens closer to the LED surface. So just wind this all the way down. So with fog, you know, you can obviously sharpen your fog or uh, you know make a, 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 a bigger fog uh, should you wish. But for the line guys, now we've actually got essentially a line board just by running that LED closer to the lens, uh, sorry, the lens closer to the LEDs. So one light is gonna do all eventualities. Those of you that might want a bit of fog and a bit of line, you know, we can, we can send one side of the, the lens up so we have this, uh, this sort of sharper image down the bottom and then a more faded image up the top. So I'm very impressed with this. Um, it's a nice, it feels nice, it feels like a quality item. Um, I'm sure it's gonna last for forever. Um, just, for, just for the way it's been designed and put together. You know, it really is a, a nice piece of equipment. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop downstairs and put this on the car because it's all good and well seeing this like here, but what we actually wanna do is see what the reflection's like. So the fog's actually really picking out a good deal of reflection on this, a uh, good deal of detail on the orange peel. This roof isn't great, it's had a repaint, so it's not, it's not the best orange peel in the world, but I'm seeing everything there quite nicely. So what we'll do, we'll add some different colors into this as well. So maybe we'll look around. So it's just nice, obviously if you've got different, different colored vehicles, you can start playing around with colors that are gonna bring those um, that, you know, bring those colours to life to make it easier to work on. I know when we were working uh, bare metal in uh, in Volvo a few years back, I'll say quite a few years back now, we were actually using a purple bulb, which really did pick up. And, you know, we, we weren't able to see much with the other uh, with the other colours, but uh, the purple bulbs really did bring uh, an extra level to it. So let's run this down and have a look at with the with the line set up on it. So. Obviously, this is something you wouldn't be doing all the time. So, a couple of a couple of seconds to wind this back. It will bottom out as well, so you know you're right back as far as it will go. Okay, so there we have. So there's our line. I have no idea what I'm looking at there. So, uh, Martin and Steve Wood, I'm sure you'll be able to you'll be able to show us. So, or it's most normal people that use fog. No, just joking. Um, yeah. So you have that ability to change them around. And say we see a little bit of the LED here, so maybe we can just, we can bring that forward a touch. It's just gonna, you know, we can, it's the great thing about this, we can adjust it to however we see fit to get the best view that we want. Um, so as far as lights go, I don't think there's anything, well, I know there's nothing on the market that gives quite the level of uh, adjustability what this one does. So we'll talk about another feature of the light as well. There is, it does have this optional extra uh, you can purchase to add on. Uh, this will be great for holding a heat gun, shading up an area, you know, with a shade board or something like that. Uh, so I'll show you how this works. So in the base of the, the light, there's this little plug. I'll just pop this plug out. There's a thread in there. So what we can do is just add this claw system. So now with that set up on, on your vehicle and you wanted some heat in there. Uh, this is all aluminium actually. This is, this is really, really well made. Um, quite, a, quite a nice piece of kit. Normally you see plastic on these, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a really well engineered piece of equipment. But yeah, you can have, um, you know, we can hold whatever you wanted up there and say like a little shade board just to shade your area you're working on. Um, I don't know whether I want to be putting a large umbrella on there. Um, there's a lot, lot for this suction cup. So uh, yeah, keep it, keep it a little bit more realistic would be my, uh, my advice. Uh, I'll check this out with Mike, but um, yeah, you know, just, just the ability, you know, if you're, if you're glue pulling and you just need some, some direct heat in there rather than having another suction cup on the panel, I know sometimes we can get overrun with, uh, with items around the work area. So this just keeps everything up out of the way. So yeah, really nice little attachment that, but plenty of adjustability um, and a very, very well-made piece of equipment.